Well, I got the 83 Chevy K10 here. We're doing a little upgrade. I got the truck running great uh, with the EFI. I'll have a video about that later. Uh, but right now we're doing some disc brake swap on these uh, 12 bolt truck GM rear. Um, it was actually really hard to find a kit that was fair priced um, that had a real easy setup. So I already did this side. I took apart all the shoes and actually you could do this two ways. You could actually either cut the backing plate off like I did, which it says two in the directions because I mean you're getting rid of it anyways. Or you can take the whole diff apart and pop the seat clip off to get the axle out. But I wasn't doing all that and spending money for fluid and all that. So here's the old shoes and all. They actually came apart. That's kind of how I cut the old drum or the old backing plate. But this is this side's already done, finished. This kit is awesome. Um, like you said, it was a little hard to find, but it's got the caliper there. It's like a standard like GM caliper rotor. It bolts to the old where the old backing plate would. The hose kind of runs around the axle, comes up, and then it gives you this tab to basically just run your brake line. I didn't even need to make a brake line. I just kind of bent it up to fit there. Um, but yeah, the kit's, the kit's really nice. Um, and like I said, it was cheap. I think it was like 400 something bucks. Um, it's called Little Shop, Little Shop MFG. They have all kinds of different brake setups for different rears and calipers and you know just different generic parts so um i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and then i'll show you guys what i did i'm starting by removing the bolt going through the backing plate there's four of them there now actually i forgot to mention i actually did away with my e-brake cable because it didn't work anyways these calipers don't have the e-brake on them uh you can get them but i think they're like an extra hundred something bucks for it uh, but I'm not using them anyway, so I'm just get, getting rid of it. So so I got the bolts off the backing plate here. Give it a good hit with something. Kind of fucking... And it'll pop off. Move it all around. That's what I meant by you got to take the axle out. So what I'm actually going to do is just kind of tilt it back like that. Get the cutoff wheel and just cut up here. Kind of like here and just bang the plate off. Okay, so basically I just kind of cut like that. Bend this out of the way. Put a piece of that. Kind of put it there. And just bang it off of there. You might need a little persuasion. And you round up here, junk back and plate. And you got your axle here. And right on the back, the flange here is where it's going to mount to. Now's a good idea to get a wire brush out and clean all this up a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy because there's a truck going in the mud and whatever. So, back it then. You got a half spacer here in the front. Goes on the inside. We'll line up there. And you got your other bracket here to hold your brake line. And then this bracket. Now it goes in the rear. You know the axle's in the front. It goes in the rear. And this notch will actually, the caliper will be taken and slid in. Oh, it'll be slid in essentially like that with the bolts. Now something to keep in mind that maybe a lot of people don't know is you actually want the bleeder screw to always be up. If it's down at the bottom, the air will get trapped in there and you will never get the caliper bled. And I have had companies where they order you order something and they'll send you two of the wrong calipers or two of the same side and then you put one on and you can never get air out of the line. So just make sure when you do calipers or anything, the bleeder screw is always facing up. So let me get this tightened down then I'll show you with the rotor on and me putting the caliper on. All right, so there it is, caliper bolted on there. Bolt comes through here, and just tighten down onto the bracket. I'm gonna hook the brake line up. We're just gonna hook it in down here run it up around and then tee it in there and bend the line down and tighten it up. All right, now we got it on there. 
brake line ran there. Just rebent it around to go over the splitter. And it's you know mounted down there. I just gotta get somebody to help me bleed it now and then we'll have some rear disc brakes.